Okay. I'm going to do some uh, light dusting. I've gone ahead and I've added a little bit to these panels here. These couple of areas. And right here on the front. I don't want to put a lot on there. Just a little bit. A little dust. You know, this vehicle probably was recovered from from the range and then uh, you know hose down and whatnot so it's just some light dusting on there I don't want to replicate something that's been completely dug up out of the ground and still caked with dirt and everything okay what I'm using is some MIG Uptilum oils the light mud I've already mixed a little bit with some spirits and right here I've got a mixture of MIG pigments, Gulf War sand, and Europe dust. Okay, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and wet the area I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on this one right here. I don't want to cover up all that work that I already did with the rusting, so I'm going to just go ahead and add some in there. I want it to look like the real thing. Spending eight years in the military and being around vehicles. I kind of know what it's like when they're dusty. I used to drive a, a Hemet. And even after washing it on the wash rack, you still have that dust on there, that residue. Kind of just eats right into the... Uh, paint. Okay, I've added that on there. And what I'm going to do is just add some of the pigments. If it got washed or from the rain, the water is going to wash some of that dust down and so the lower areas will have more of a, an accumulation of dust and dirt. Right there where it's kind of flat area, I want to add more. Like I said, I don't want to completely dust and, and muddy this up. So, a couple wide brushes, dampened sponge, it dries pretty quick, so you can just keep working with it. I want to dab the sponge on there, remove some of that excess. And then with the wide dampened brush, I'm going to uh, kind of create some streaking. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've let that dry so you can see what it looks like. So now I'm going to take that sponge again and remove a lot of that. Okay, and I got a cosmetic sponge here. What I'm going to do is dab that. That'll soak up some of the uh, mineral spirits, the thinner. And also remove the pigments. Now I'm just going to rub it really good to get the dust off the weld seam there, the weld bead which I'll go over again later, all of them. When that dries, it'll look like the other ones there. I like dusting, not too much, but it is noticeable. It gives it that flat finish, that dusty look. You can always add up some more pigments dry if you've removed too much without wetting the surface just give it a dusting like I said, once it dries it'll look similar to that side and go ahead and add some more in there don't want to put too much just enough 
to make it look a little dusty. Gone ahead and done a few areas. I've done the suspension components. I'll add a little bit more right in there just to dust it up. Take that sponge, remove any excess. I normally leave pigments off till the very end when I know I'm not going to handle the model anymore. That's why I avoid accidentally removing any of the pigments with my hands, my fingers. Let me just drop some right in there. I'll add some to the lower section, the hull. that area there you would have had a lot of accumulated dirt in that area so we'll add some there and we'll go ahead and cover up some of the nice rust that we have there sometimes it's a shame to have to cover up some nice rust effects but to get a realistic looking model it's sometimes necessary. And those look pretty good. Just add some there. You can use a stiff brush or you can go back and uh, dry brush it with those dark acrylic rust paints. So I'll add some in the sprocket. Sprocket isn't glued on yet. That's why it's a little wobbly. You don't want to put too much on there. So that's about it. I'll go ahead and I'll dust up the rest of the model. And then we should be good to go. And that should conclude this little project. I'll just have to go ahead and do up a little base for it to mount it on. After all, a rusted up model doesn't look all that great just sitting on a stained board. Alrighty, well I hope you enjoyed the videos on this little project. If I can think of anything else I'll go ahead and add another video in real quick. But I'm going to go ahead and dust the rear section. It's basically the same method as I did there and here on the suspension components and up on there. So that's about it. I'll finish my glass of wine and I'll see what else I can do to this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Scratch mod out.